and liftoff. Decollage, liftoff from a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself. James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. It is a very Merry Christmas for me and for space and astronomy enthusiasts around the world. Today, on Christmas Day 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope finally, after decades... It is now on its way. In this video, I want to just very briefly touch on some of what makes this space telescope so special and where you can find out more information about it. So the James Webb Space Telescope is the successor to the incredibly famous and rightfully so, Hubble Space Telescope. The Hubble Space Telescope hitherto has been the most useful, most amazing, most important scientific instrument ever created. The discoveries that the Hubble Space Telescope has accomplished have completely and wonderfully revolutionized our understanding of the entire universe. The James Webb Space Telescope is going to do that again, except that the James Webb Space Telescope has a mirror that is about eight times the size of the Hubble Space Telescope. It will have the ability to peer back into the universe yet further than Hubble. It will even perhaps be able to resolve exoplanets. That's right, planets in other solar systems. This is an unbelievably powerful, amazing astronomical and astrophysical instrument. But that's just the first of the three factors which make this launch today so unbelievably special, so important, and so long awaited. The first, of course, as we just mentioned, is that the instrument is amazing. It's going to do truly remarkable work. But the second is that we've been waiting since 1996. Well, actually, we've been waiting more like the past 10 years because they thought they'd get this up into space over a decade ago. But due to cost overruns, to delays, to some small amount of program mismanagement, all of which I would say will be worth it if this thing gets to do its mission. It will take another two weeks to actually get into its location. And that's the third part. So the third fact which makes this so anticipated and why all of this matters so much is that it will be at the Lagrange 2 point about a million miles away from the Earth and absolutely unreachable for any potential human repair mission. Unlike the Hubble Space Telescope, which is an Earth orbit and was always designed to be refitted and repaired if necessary, the James Webb Space Telescope has to be perfect today for this launch because it is unlikely that human eyes will ever see this again, either with their naked eye or with cameras. When it gets to its station, which is in orbit of the second Lagrange point, it will have to very carefully unfold these unbelievably delicate and very large and very thin, fine surfaces. Not just its enormous mirror, which, like I said, is about eight times the area of the mirror in the Hubble Space Telescope, but also this heat shield. That's right, it has a heat shield instead of being a mirror inside a protective tube like other telescopes have to deflect the heat and energy of the sun. This is absolutely essential because any light or heat or radiation from the sun will affect the images that this machine is going to be able to capture. So today, on Christmas Day, what a Christmas gift. After years and years, I've been aware of this space telescope and its production ever since I was a kid. I've been a space enthusiast, an astronomy enthusiast since I was very young, and I have definitely waited my whole life to see the successor to Hubble. This instrument could, in fact, be the most important and amazing and incredibly valuable scientific instrument that has ever been devised by the human mind and put together by human hands. In the description of this video, you will find links to other videos and sources to learn more about this. This is such an important thing for the exploration of the universe. Merry Christmas to every one of you. Gracias, Wobi, Sumasago, Walete.